Welcome on folks, welcome back along, we have got another busy day and we're starting by getting this big group filled up in the way here. Uh, got this guy out, he's not going to take too long to get our ground done I don't think at all. But what we just need to do is make sure that we get them full first, so we can actually go and do it. Uh, once we get them, I mean this spreader here holds about 12 ton I think it is. Um, so once he is ready to go. We're going to kind of jump in straight behind him with the cultivator, which is already on the 66. Uh, so the idea being that we can kind of really get ourselves stuck into it nice and quickly. Uh, get that turned over a little bit. And uh, follow him out of the field, I guess. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, just hoping that we can actually get this all... We should have plenty here, to be told. But it never hurts to get a little bit more than we need. We'll we have more stubble fields that we can stick it onto, that's for sure. We absolutely have to. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, but yeah, so this is bucket load number five, I want to say. Oh, it's better be the top. There we go. And then we'll get this one filled up. And then, yeah, like I say, we're out. So it's uh, going to be a busy morning getting this all done. Uh, looks like that's good. And what we might do is we've got that field on the other side of the road, which we'll probably get them to go into uh, with whatever is left. Uh, we might just get them away with that there. Now I think we should just go and do it. Park that there. So we'll get this, uh, get the contractor out of here, uh, and then we are good to go. We've finished the fertilizer spinner for now as well. So the 60 or the 56 is on the 57 bay pond is on the Marston trailer. We need to go and hide some rocks somewhere at some point. Uh, the trailer's going to sneak in full, but we're going to leave it to see if we pull any more up with the cultivator when we're on the, uh, when we're in this field. But let's get this guy all up and out of here, and then we can follow suit, I suppose. Okay, and so that is uh, up and over the hill there, uh, so we can really get cracking along. And now, like I say, we're, first time we're going to be taking out the Amazon cultivator here. Uh, I need to get a little bit of... Uh, get a little bit of paint off here in front. So there's this uh, Asenius, uh 3002, three meters wide. It's perfect for what we need here. This uh, our equipment can, our tractors can pull it no problem at all. Uh, and yeah, it's just going to allow us to kind of just turn over the top couple of inches of soil, uh, bury that lime in, get a good establishing uh, bed for uh, whatever we're going to put into there. Now I'm in two minds about what uh, what crop we might actually uh, drill into here. Uh, we could put a cover crop in there, but I do feel like I'm going to have a chat with one of my reps just to see what we can do with a bit of spring oil seed rape, see if that's going to be worthwhile. Um, it could be curious, that's for sure. It's not not something that we've done much or any of at all in the past. So, uh, yeah, I'd be really curious to see what that one looks like. So, yeah, let's uh, watch this space as far as that's concerned. Uh, the contract is stuck there. We'll have to go and see what's going on. Get around that gate, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll have a touch base with them. We'll stop the game, and we'll see what's happening. And we'll come back to you. All right, and so they are away. Uh, what we're gonna do here is try and get ourselves followed up behind them. Um, see how we get on, but we'll have to. Well, we'll cross. Uh, we'll just see if we get plugged away there. It's not gonna take too long to do this field anyway, because he's covering about 24 meters in a single hit. Uh, but hey, what can we do? Uh, looks like we're going to get started here. So yeah, like I say, we're going to just ping ourselves over, get onto the far side so as not to be in the way, uh, and then we'll get working. So we're going to put the GPS on as well, so we just need to get that all set up as per usual. But once we are, we are laughing. Uh, so I'm going to just do that off that this side, I reckon. Uh, probably looking down there, we'll just square that edge off. I think. Wonderful stuff. So we'll get this all arrowed in and then, uh, yeah, we'll try to some degree to play a bit of catch up here. Alright, so we should be good. Looks like we've got everything dialed in there. Let's just. Let's see. Put you down. Turned everything over quite nicely indeed. We've got that little corner to square out, but that's not a problem at all. Uh, get right down here. Yeah, he's flying along there now. It's looking much better. Much happier with that. 
And onwards we go. So like I say, we are looking into getting maybe some uh, something a bit different in here. We might look to see about a little bit of uh, a little bit of spring oil seed rape. Let's see how that goes. Uh, just purely to see if it's going to be any benefit to us. Uh, get it in there to help kind of establish a bit of a stronger uh, root system. But yeah, these are all questions that we'll try and figure out. Uh, for now, though, yeah, we just want to get this turned over. It is dry. We have a few nice dry days coming up as well. So it's going to be some. Um, the only problem with it, we might have is seeing what it's going to be like to get this all drilled up in the back end. Uh, so yeah, that'll be curious to say this, but uh, these are all questions that we're going to ask our a new, uh, newly acquainted agronomist, um, agronomist, sorry, when he arrives, uh, which should hopefully not be too far away. So once he does it, we're going to get him installed, we're going to do a little bit of a tour with him around the farm, uh, and that way we can kind of make sure we're on the same page about everything and give us some advice on a few bin issues that we still have and get the best out of our land moving forward there. Uh, now we are just going to miss a row at the moment then just to make driving uh, this a little bit more fluid, a little bit more efficient as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully we've got the GPS set right, otherwise we're going to have an annoying little spot left all the way through. But it's uh, looking alright there so far. We could almost have gone a little bit wider with the cultivator. Chose not to in the end though, just so again we can stick it onto the 57 uh, if anything changes moving forward. Uh, now that being said, we do have the case arriving fairly soon, which is a change of red to the system, but uh, it's going to be mainly mounted on the mainly mounted to the hedge cutter, but uh, it is has a little bit more power in there. It's around the 140 horsepower ish, so uh, we should be able to use that one if we need to. Uh, we are looking to go and pick that up later on today, so we're going to bring that one back to the yard, uh, which will be exciting. I uh, want to have a bit of a look around that and just do a once over on it, check a few things, make sure there's if there's any service that we need to do, we can get on top of that nice and quickly as well. Uh, that's going to be important, but I think it should be for the most part okay. It was looked after well, it was well maintained, uh, which is exactly what we need. And hopefully, yeah, like I say, we'll be able to get it all buttoned up and ready for service nice and quickly. But yeah, that's all done and dusted from a contract standpoint, at least. It's all tied off nicely as well. So it's a big start for us there, actually. It's going to be a big, fresh change-up. And um, I'm honestly looking forward to seeing how that all comes together, what that looks like for us. So that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, now, as far as we're concerned here, uh, as you can see at the ground there, we do have a nice little dusting, really. Uh, uh, lime across the across the field which is good we do have a little bit left so what we might actually do is just stick it into the field directly behind us just because it's going to be easier to get into uh, we need to figure out that's probably just going to be set aside still for the rest of the uh, summer and um, we'll get that one drilled up in the early autumn there with some probably uh, either i think that's going to be barley uh, winter barley in there so that'll be good for us to get that done Everything else is looking very nice indeed. I'm probably going to get Dad to take over this. He's just doing some uh, work with the sheep at the moment. Uh, we have to get ready for the shearers to come in. And we got uh, yeah, those all done. We're up to about 250 head of sheep right now, so it shouldn't take too long to get them all done. Less than half a day, really, if everything goes well. Uh, but yeah, we just got to get the logistics sorted out for that. So that's what he's looking into right now, and then we'll. Uh, I'll get this in here, get this finished, and I can go and get a lift over and pick up the, the new case and bring that home. So, lots to do. It looks like the contract is finished, field number one. Uh, so, we will continue. Uh, try and chase them out of the field, really, see how that gets on, and uh, yeah, we can take it from there. So, uh, lots to do, though, and uh, lots to keep going with. But, we'll, we'll, we'll stick at this for a bit longer, and I'll take you along for a ride when we go to pick up the, uh, the new case again and bring that back to the yard. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, well, we left the cold for a little while. There's a small shower that we just want to see how long that's going to last for. And then uh, we'll get back onto it if it dries off quickly. Uh, so in that time, we're going to try and use it as effectively as we can. And we're going to come and pick up the tractor. Now, we have been... Uh, this has all been agreed now, finally. We've, we've signed off on it, really. So we're in a position where we can actually take the tractor back over to the yard. Uh, the old fella who we're picking this up off, uh, he is kind of winding down his business. He's had like a body shop business here uh, and a few other bits and pieces to go along with it as well. But he is kind of taking a step back from some of that. Uh, one of the things is the um, 
the hedge cutting and landscaping side of things that you had to roll in. So, we are going to take that up. We're just going to jump into it now. And we, so, we figured we'd strike up a good deal with them. And, uh, yeah, we've been able to do that. We, mainly, we bought the hedge cutter and the, uh, the tractor did come as part of the deal there. We did pay for that, don't get me wrong. But the main key things were the hedge cutters and the contract book that he has. So, that's exactly what we've got. But we've got the key in my hand now. So we're just going to jump in and fire it up. Uh, and this means that we're going to be able to really kind of bring out a, 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 another branch to the business. Uh, it's a nice smart case. It's about 150 horsepower all in. Uh, well, it was when it was new at least. Whether or not it's still got that power, we'll wait and see. Uh, the flail mower on the back of uh, the head cutter is a coon. So we'll have a look at that when we get back to the yard anyway. But it's a tidy little bit of equipment. I uh, really do like that. And uh, yeah, it's going to give us another option really. Uh, another line of work. Now it is a, a fourth tractor for us, a uh, fourth proper tractor when you uh, look at that fleet already. But like I say, we are going to be looking to keep this predominantly on the um, on the landscaping side of things. Uh, we'll have to watch this space though. Uh, we're looking into trying to see if we can find a good flail mower somewhere. That'll be really good to add into the, uh, the fleet there. So we, cause what we're going to try and do is start to get some tenders out for, uh, for contract work with the local councils. Uh, there was once upon a time, off we go, let's make sure we've got a beacon on here. Uh, there was a young lad who had a contract on here, drove a couple of classes around and uh, he had um, the hedge cut and the landscaping, but then he moved his business away. I can't remember where he went to, but yeah, he wasn't too far away at all. So he he surrendered his contracts to old man Arthur here, who we've picked the hours up from. And, uh, and then, yeah, we were able to... Uh, let's go this way, I think. Go back at Bramble Lane. Uh, we were able to strike up a good deal whereby we could take on that contract book from him. Uh, he's he's a mechanic by trade as well, so he's kept this tractor in great working condition. Sounds perfect as we're driving along here. Uh, really is peering over, so I expect nothing less from him and also for the uh, for the hedge cutter behind us there. So let's watch how we get on with that one. Um, but yeah, looking forward to seeing what this looks like. It should be a good opportunity just to get some more revenue coming in through the winter months as well uh well we'll definitely be doing a lot of hedge cutting work uh, and then through the summer we can get on the roadside work as well so uh, yeah it's definitely gonna be interesting definitely looking forward to seeing if it brings up any other opportunities along the way but yeah i mean and also it's a nice extra tractor like i say this is a little bit shy of the uh 66 16 that we have but not by much by any stretch there so it's Obviously that's a little bit newer, has a few more mod cons on, but when it comes into the depths of uh, harvest there, we can definitely look to utilize this in one way or another. Uh, so that should be good. And yeah, I like it. I'm liking it an awful lot. It's uh, yeah, nice and quick on the road. I think this has a 40k box in it, so it'd be great just to stick on to any uh, trailers if we need to. Not much going on here today. There we go. Perfect. Nice little sound to it when you really stick your foot down. It purrs up and over. There we go. So yeah, we got a little bit more of that field done. Dad's still out with the sheep at the moment. So uh, he is going to just crack on. He's got them all under a cover now anyway, under the one of the sheds. So uh, we'll leave him to do that. And then if the rain stops anytime soon, uh, I'll look to get out there, I think, and um, try and get a bit more done, I think. Uh, and then, yeah. I don't think he would use GPS anyway, had I left it to him, so it makes sense that I just jump in and crack on for a bit longer. Uh, he's not all on board with the GPS yet, he's the old man, so it takes a little bit of time, but you'll get there, I'm sure. And then I'm going to go back in later on today and crack on with the edits and a few more videos. Uh, we're... So we're bringing, keeping the channel going now. There's been a lot of great feedback, so do let me know how you, uh, what you think of the series we've got going here. Uh, let us know what uh, what else you like in as well. Do try and mix it all up from time to time, bringing some uh, different content. You know, of course, trying to get those videos all done when you've got to work a full day on the farm is never easy, but hey, we can always try and see what we can do there. Oh, come on, son. Out of the way. Oh, sneak 
down here. Okay, okay then, so bring it back into the yard for the first time. We'll have a little bit of a play around with the elbow. I need to, Arthur was saying the way that the hydraulics are set up right now, it's a bit of a dual acting ram on it. Uh, so you'll see it's gonna bobble around a little bit, I think. Uh, but, I'm just gonna sort of push back here. There we go. Let's get that shut. So right now that is separating off um, some of the sheep that need a little bit of extra work done on the feet. Uh, cleaning them up a little bit. Uh, and taking care of any issues like that. And worming some of them if they need to be done. Uh, so, if I'm right thinking if that's locked up there. There we go. And oh. Perfect, just gonna bring it out a bit because he says you don't want to swing it round until you've moved out the flail, which I can understand why. <coughs> just bring this down to about here, like so. And there it is! Not too bad looking at all, I'm sure you will agree. This is a monstrous looking flail that's about two meters and slightly taller than I am. Ah, uh, lovely looking flails, all been saved, stuff there is looking remarkably uh, clean and tidy. Uh, so yeah, very impressed with that. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be able to allow us to really cover some ground, both hedges and verges like we've been discussing there. So, interested to see how we get on. I have pulled the Massey into there for now, but I'm going to try and just squeeze uh, this in next to it. Let's do a bit of that. Perfect. Stick our way around the side as well, I think. Oh, perfect. Let's keep this out of the way. We don't need it too soon. We need to figure out and focus on the rest of the land work first. So we'll just get this all tucked out of the way. Uh, Just get that side down. Turn off those, turn off that. Excellent stuff. And there we have it. So I'm probably going to go and grab a bite of lunch, see what's happening with this rain. The, the clouds seem to have dispersed, so it shouldn't be too much longer, I don't think. A few puddles floating around already, which is always terrific. Uh, but yeah, we're going to grab a bite to eat, and then we'll probably get ourselves back out into the field and continue. Uh, for now, though, I think we'll leave that here. So thank you ever so much for watching. I have been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and we will see you all later on. Until then, though, have yourself a great day. Enjoy what you're doing as always, and we'll catch you later.